Prior to Monday, most people in this country had never really heard of Sam Nunberg, but he was a former campaign aide to Donald Trump during the presidential campaign, and for several years prior to that, he was actually a political advisor to Donald Trump before he even got involved in American politics. He was discharged from the Donald Trump campaign um, early on after it was revealed that he wrote some racially charged Facebook posts. But nonetheless, Sam Nunberg was back in the news on Monday because he was all over the news on Monday, giving interviews contradicting himself every time about whether or not he was gonna comply with a subpoena he received from the special prosecutor's office. And towards the end of the day, I believe he did a grand total of about six different uh, interviews throughout the media throughout the day. Um, during the end, uh, towards the end, I should say, he went on CNN with Aaron Burnett and Aaron just had to ask him why his behavior was so erratic and why people were suggesting that possibly he was drunk. And this is what happened during that particular exchange. Okay, so let's, let's see them. So Sam, I have to ask you one other thing. Yes, ma'am. And it's an awkward question to ask, but you know, I've, I've, I've interviewed yes. you before, you're sitting very close to me. Yes. We talked earlier about what? people in the White House were saying about you. Yeah, Talking about whether you, you, were, you were drinking or on drugs or whatever they uh, had happened today. Um, talking to you, yeah. I have smelled alcohol breath. Well, I, I have not had a drink. You haven't had a drink, so that's no. not true. No. So I, I just, because it is the talk out there, again, I know it's awkward, let me just get, give you the question well, so you can uh, categorically uh, answer that. Uh, no, you have you had a drink answer, today? My answer is no, I have not. Anything else? No. 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 Besides my meds. Okay. Antidepressants. Is that okay? No, I, th I mean I'm not. I'm just trying to understand. Well, look. Well, look. They can say today. they can say whatever they want. I don't really care. What? Once again, they're pathetic. Mm -hmm. Their their president has a 33 percent approval rating. Mm -hmm. what, what what was the rating number you guys released? I don't know the exact number. It was in the 30s. It was in the 30s. So whatever they want to say about me, that's fine. You know, I can't say for sure if Nunberg was drunk or if he wasn't or if he had been drinking at all or if it was the side effect of his medications, but we do know one thing about what happened yesterday. He said on live TV at one point that he would just rip up the subpoena that he was given by Robert Mueller. And by the end of the day, he was saying, you know what, I'm probably going to comply. At one point, he defended Donald Trump saying the guy didn't do anything wrong. And then later on, said that this investigation began because Donald Trump is an idiot and he absolutely may have done something wrong. Uh, he insulted Sarah Huckabee Sanders weight and appearance at one point, even though that was nowhere near what they were supposed to be talking about. So yes, that kind of sounds like the behavior of a guy who's not all there mentally because of the influence of drugs or alcohol or prescription medication. But nonetheless, Sam Nunberg did not do Donald Trump any favors yesterday, but he also didn't provide any information that I think Mueller is going to use in his investigation. Even if they get this guy on the stand, even if he turns over all kinds of information about Donald Trump, he's already kind of destroyed his credibility to the point that I don't think Mueller is going to take anything that this nut job has to say very seriously. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.